time has come to marry this with this. I have a couple of bits of inlay missing, so time for some mother of pearl. Now because the pieces are so tiny, I'm going to try and just eyeball this and not, I mean I've measured them, it's three and a half millimetres, but trying to measure and cut out, I, I think it'd be far better to just cut them out according to eye and then file and get them just the right shape. I'm just going to square off this end and remove a little bit of, um, I don't know what that is, a little bit of brown part of the, the shell. I'm also going to wear a dust mask because I've heard, rightly or wrongly, that mother of pearl is fairly nasty stuff. Actually, there is a danger I'm going to break this anyway, but I'm wondering, <laughs> let's take this off, I'm wondering whether I should just polish the surface of this. I think I should. I'm going to treat that as the outer surface. So let's get some 1200 and just give that a bit of a polish so that we don't have to do it when it's on the guitar. This is 600 grit, so let's see if we, we can uh, get a polish on. <laughs> You can hear me getting muffled when I uh, put the mask on. That's polishing up nicely. I'll put a thousand grit on now. It's got a really nice polish on that now. It's taken all the tool marks out of it. I will continue with the strategy of doing this by eye. I have measured on the guitar, <laughs> but uh, I've not marked it, which maybe is insanity, but let's keep going. Not quite parallel there, but uh, I can always file it square. I think I might have to take a little bit off it anyway. <laughs> I will mark with a pencil. <laughs> this is very difficult to get started. Now comes the tricky bit, getting this to size. 
particularly as the hole I'm trying to put it in doesn't appear to be quite square. I'm a little alarmed at how white this appears to be compared to the rest of it but the rest of it's probably got finish over the top so it may hmm. <laughs> it may change but I have to take a little bit off this edge here and probably a little bit off the other width as well although maybe not much it's uh, it's fairly close to being the right width there so let's take a little bit off this edge with a file being very carefully because this is now very very fiddly I've marked which corner is the bottom corner fiddly but the, uh, the width comes down quite quickly with a file. I seem to have a good fit. Oops. <laughs> I seem to have a good fit on this edge and a good fit on this edge so I just need to take a little bit off here. It nearly fits, but I'm just going to do a little bit of cleanup. Uh, take my specs off to do it. I'm just going to do a little bit of cleanup in the in here. I'm going to use super glue, which is uh, a bit permanent, but I can always break it out if there is a problem. I'm just a little bit concerned that it is a bit too white, but it might just be that once we've got this guitar finished the, these might all whiten up because there's, there's finish over the top of these so maybe that's the problem I'm gonna I'm just gonna go for it I think right it very nearly fits I think I've still got to take just a little bit off this edge here It looks like we're there. It's standing slightly proud. But I think that can we can probably take that down when we're finishing the guitar. Although, hmm, I'm tempted to just file a little bit more off it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's sort of. It's almost flush here, but it's not quite flush here. Perhaps a bit naughty taking some of the top of the guitar away, but let's see if we can get a better fit by doing this. That would appear to be a perfect fit, and it's flush which is a bonus. Mm, well, it's slightly proud. But then so are some of these. So we're ready to glue. Now I can do one of two things here. I can either leave it where it is and just flood some super thin super glue into it. And you know what? That might be what I'm going to do. the super glue will wick underneath it I'm just making sure the super glue doesn't go any further afield than it needs to try and keep it off the surface where possible Now I'll now just wick some thin viscosity, low viscosity super glue. 
the stuff. Just wick some stuff straight into there. And I think that's all that's needed. There is a spot of super glue still on the top of that, which I'll wipe off. But that should now be stuck. And it's on to the next one. I've got this one to size and oh again take my specs off so I can see what I'm doing to get it close. Just gonna scrape a little bit of the surface down here. in. That's pressed in nicely. So again, <laughs> put my specs back on. Create a small, no actually, no, let's take my specs off. Create a small masking tape dam. Without my specs I'm able to see much closer because I'm short sighted and it's like having magnifying glasses in front of my eyes. Get that all burnished down at the edges. And again, one small drop of super glue. Oh, or rather a lot of super glue, as it turns out. That should all wick underneath. Of the excess. And remove the masking tape. I'm now at the stage where I have got to do the finish. I suspect I'm going to leave the back as it is and just patch it and buff it and apply a little bit of shellac here and there but I think the front is going to get all stripped back and shellac French polished but I will be taking advice on this as you'll see in the next video or the next video in this series. So don't forget to subscribe and click like and uh, keep up to date with this and Let's get it playing. It, it, it feels like it's, uh, it's not far away now. Uh, so I'll see you soon. Bye.